Love is God and God is love. A relationship without God is as good as using it because God is the foundation of love. Blessings, friends. My name is John Nathan Owara. Welcome to this weekly segment of Embrace. For the next few weeks, we'll be talking about parenting. Let's lay a foundation on parenting. But before we do that, let's pray. Our Lord and our God, thank you for the opportunity to talk about parenting. It starts in you and ends in you. So help us to understand this concept. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you so much for joining us again. Parenting starts in God and ends in God. Parenting starts with God and ends with God. I will read Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, 27, and 28 to lay a foundation for what we're going to be talking about for the next few weeks. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. He created them. And God blessed them. And God said, be fruitful, multiply, and replenish or fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fall of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. So God creates Adam and Eve in his image. They look like him. They think like him. They make decisions like him. They have everlasting life like him. It does not mean that they actually had a face like God's face. To be created in the image of God means you think like God. You will know the difference between right and wrong. It also means you have an eternal opportunity to live. You live either in heaven or in hell. You make the choice. Being created in the image of God also means that you are a spiritual being. We know that the human being has the body, has the soul, has the spirit. It is the spirit that lives eternally. So you, have, you are created in the image of God. So God created Adam and Eve and he told them that they should, he blessed them and told them that they should be fruitful and multiply. We know that when you plant seed in the ground, seed multiplies and seed gives birth to either a tree or gives birth to something. And then a fruit comes out of that. So as we lay this foundation on parenting, we should know that parenting is a seed that we sow. Parenting is a seed that we sow. Like planting a bean seed in the soil. You expect to get a bean, bean pods after some time. So parenting is a seed we sow. We expect to get good fruit or bad fruit, depending on how you parent. So we're talking about good parenting. We should also remember that parenting is ordained by God and given to parents. There can be no parenting without parents. So we have parents. Parents are the ones that give birth to children. So we're talking about parenting. So we're talking to parents, we're also talking to young adults and also to children so that they know how parenting starts. This is very important. So it's important that we know that God did not call forth organizations. Organizations are not the original people that God gave. And I mean all Christian organizations out there. The mandate to parent was given to parents, was given to husband and wife, was given to mother and father. That is the mandate that God gave to parents. And we're talking about parenting children specifically. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, in these spaces, like the videos right here. You can get more videos on this page. See you soon. Till next time. Bye-bye.